Okay, we've been talking about Major League Fishing. <laughs> That's so ugly. That was terrible. <laughs> yeah, but I did, I did get the mute. Yeah. You got it out. You got to remember, you're on camera now. So yeah. All that he doesn't remember that at all. Yeah, Looking dude. like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> T-Rex, short arms. We've been talking about Major League Fishing. We, they're coming to Kissimmee Chain. They're coming to, then they're going to Lake Conroe. But last week we mentioned, we started talking about, we've heard some rumblings in the industry that there might be one of the top a top five angler that might go back to might go back to the elites and really doesn't make sense for for someone that's a, a big name guy to go back to the elites. Is it, it, it? I mean, I mean they're paying off more money now. They've changed their attitudes. There's a lot of things that have changed since you know the the cord has been pulled on MLF, right? So. And there's a lot of opportunity. I'm sure they're talking to these guys, trying to get some of these guys to stay. Yes. No, Dude. I'm just I'm looking at you. I'm listening to him and looking. I I think that, uh, and that scares me. Uh, I think, <laughs> I'm listening and looking, <laughs> looking and listening. I think that somebody to to move back that's a top five angler, it kind of makes, it kind of makes a lot of sense. I know that's horrible, and I think that you'd probably catch a lot of grief from the anglers. But it, the, a majority of the really big name anglers went to um, Major League Fishing. And I mean, all best. of them. Let's be honest. All well, I mean, I, I consider Keith Combs a pretty big name angler, not 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 in terms of recognition, but a really good angler that's done really well the last few years. No, he's a good angler. There's a lot of the good anglers. Yes. Yeah. But does his name ring a bell out of, out of Texas like no. all these other big name? What well, you would think a big name angler would be the guys you see on TV commercials yes. and other things. A TV, you've hit it right on the head by TV, the commercialism of the angler. Right. Guys that are going to, you know, have a name brand. That you know? have, yes, that have a name yeah. brand. So, but you know, you have to think. I don't know, you know, where what developments have happened, but I was putting some thought to it. And who is sponsored by major companies that are paying a lot of bread fare to them and that are staying in the bass Speak it. world? Yes. And that's where, you know, I was, you know, investigative, my snoops. Yes. My magnifying glass, my pipe. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock over there. Holmes it. I, I, now, I didn't reach out to anybody. It depends though. on how incentivized Bass throws at them. Well, you would what think some of, of these incentive. sponsors like, hey, look, I'm giving you this much cheese. Where do I want I need you, you to, to be go? in this program, not that program, because I'm not getting what I need out of that. Yeah. I need you to be here. I yes. would imagine there's going to be a lot of that pressure. So, so, does, so let's just say. I don't know. Let's just make a, a, a list of maybe 10 anglers. My thing doesn't get done anymore. Oh, well, that's as far as it goes. Of ten anglers that uh, could possibly go, who could the ten be? Now I know some of them are not going to make sense, but you got to put like KVD in the in the instance. I mean, KVD's out. KVD, no, no I way. know, but let's just say KVD's, anybody who's a Bass Pro Shops guy is out. I, I know, I know, but Bass I'm just, Pro. I mean, even though they're keeping some relations with Bass because you know Johnny yeah. Morris has his hands and everything, he's not going to you know. This is the Bass Pro Tour, Bass yeah. Pro being Bass Pro Shops. So. Okay, we'll take KVD out then. So anybody who's, you know. How about, well, let's he's start. In every, at, he's in every stinking Bass Pro Shops commercial yes. anyways, yeah. right? W let's start with Mike Iconelli then. Let's, I'm just making a list. Right. It doesn't mean he is or he's he He's always been a Toyota guy, so that's been, you know, and a Berkeley guy, right? Yep, and the Berkeley came out with a great in, uh, incentive for the Bass Elite this week. So, I mean, there's a lot of opportunity there. There are a lot of opportunity to make more money. Let's put let's we're just making a list. We're not saying he this Bass. guy or this guy is going. Brandon Palinick. Brandon Palinick. He's a GoPro guy, right? Yeah. GoPro guy, right. Toyota. Toyota. Is he Carhartt? I don't know. No, he's Hook. He's Hook. Yeah, yeah he's Hook. Yeah, he's Hook. I mean, I don't know who's who's tied in with MLF anymore. I don't know either. Like this year, as far so as we'll corporate put, sponsors. We'll put in Palinick. We'll put in... Um, Skeet Reese. Okay, we can put in Skeet Reese. I don't think he's a top fiver, but... No, but he's top 10. Uh, maybe top 15. So he fish with Boudreaux. Yeah. And then, 
do we put Aaron Martins in the top five? Let's. You want to? We should start off with some younger guys. I think Aaron Martins is okay at MLF. I don't because he's been this. You know, he's had his sponsors, yeah. his yes. title sponsors that don't really. They're, they're not staying big with sponsors yeah. with Bass. Yeah. You know, they're not like corporately connected to Bass and yes. advertising with Bass. So. I mean, I, I consider Justin Lucas one of the top five anglers. Yeah. Yeah. That's just me. Yeah. Jordan mm-hmm. Lee. Yep. Well, um, yeah. I mean, we can. I think in, in terms of Jordan Lee, I think he's imp- really important to Bass. Yeah. Back to back classic champion. And he's a Carhartt guy whose Carhartt's a big connector. So, well, Hook is a big connector of, of Bass. They always have hook this, um, so let, yeah. let's put let's put Jordan Lee on that list. So let's just say the these aren't we're not sure these are the top no, but these are five guys. If you if you were one of those five guys, Ike and Ellie, Palnick, Reese, Lucas, or Lee, going back, if they're going to make you an, an an amazing, let's say they let's just say they give you two hundred fifty thousand dollars over three years. They're paying for your tournaments. Your tournaments are already paid for. You have an opportunity to go over there. You're the face of Bass. I would imagine your sponsors are sticking with you because you're going to be the face of Bass. Right. How do you do you make that jump if you're them, if you're one of them? Do you make the jump back and defect back to Bass? Knowing that now that you're not going to be competing against the best of the best, but you're competing against some really great anglers, and there's a possibility that you instantly not only are the face, but you're the best angler on the damn tournament. How do you yeah, make, man. do you feeds, make that jump? That feeds the family, man. Do you make it and 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 um That's why I think some of these younger guys that got a lot more pending would be more likely to do that. Do you make Plus the, I think they're more admirable to, to Bass. Bass wants some of these I I mentioned this a long time ago when that was this whole thing was going down, I think, to you and Ken Duke. That yes, Bass needed to make this move for young guys. Yes, they Remember did. I, I they needed to make the push to to the, the the younger anglers that they've brought up into this area, and then be, continue to make a future future guys out of it. Do you? A lot of these guys on the top. I mean, I mean, they're if great you take anglers, away, but they're you know on the backslide of things. Yes. they're not at their peak. They're not at their peak. So your Palinick, Lucas, Jacob Prosnick, Lee. Some of these top five these are guys. all up and comers I, or just starting in to all hit honesty, stride. I would take Rescout and I would put Prosnick in his place because I love Prosnick. I think he's a great angler. Yeah, but do you make the jump back to the Bass where you're now not in the shadow of Kevin Van Dam and Skeet Reese and Mike Iaconelli of all these guys that have made done so well in their careers, and now you're the new Kevin Van Dam over on the Bass series. How important is that to you? How important is it to compete against the top level of anglers? Do you would you would you rather make more money right now and be the face, or do you want to make a, probably still a lot of money, but you're competing against the best of the best? Where where does your where do you where would you lie? What what is your? I, I'd love to know what what would you what would you do? What would you do if you're I think there's a lot of value still in the in the name in the brand, right? So Bass has the brand. MLF is new and upcoming. Right. Yes. New shiny hot startup. It's got a lot of a lot of money coming behind it. This and that, and a lot of guys they could pay all these guys to jump jump ship and head onto the new league. However, you know this is the league. Bass is the league of you know Hall of Famers. This yes. is the, the league of legends. This has you can't, you know this is the that's the blue blood spot. You the know classic. This is, this is, is the classic. Something this is something you cannot make up with money. You cannot take history and the value of that that brand and that and all that history. You can't make up with it for all the money in the world. You can do all these great things, and I'm, I'm sure MLF is going to do it. But you also, I mean, this is you know you're you're in the halls of legends when you fish in the Bassmaster. Yes, I mean the this classic is where it started. Is, the classic is the Super Bowl of all fishing, and all you know it all started. It tournament will. fishing it will is. be. Yes, and for generations to come, I would assume. I mean, when you talk to Ken Duke about it, Ken Duke is constantly telling you and reminding you. Bass has an amazing website with an amazing amount of content that is constantly coming in, and at the same time, they have an amazing magazine that still gets five hundred p- 
plus thousand people that are subscribers. Now it might be a little bit thinner than it used to be, but you want to know it still has a ton of stuff. Now Major League Fishing's website has went to another level. The ma new Major League Fishing website is really good. Um, and I'm sure they'll continue to increase that. And I'm sure, you know, they'll, they'll go leaps and bounds, but you can't bank up for the history. You know what I you mean? You can't. So you would make the jump back. I mean, now, I would have to weigh. I don't know all the numbers, but I would have to weigh and see, you know, who's feeding who's feeding mama and the babies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because really when it comes down to it. At the end of the day, you're not going to be able to become a Bassmaster Classic champion, which is really the pinnacle of sport, mm -hmm. like winning the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. right? Unless you're in in the uh, Bassmasters elites, you're mm -hmm. not going to get that spot from MLF. No. So you'll you know, as a young guy, guys have won it and won it several times. I can see it, you know, go into something new, more lucrative, something that's you know, and, and that's less what time consuming, less pressure on you, less expenses, whatever that concept is. But guys that are young, still trying to build that brand, I mean, it's a it's a hard call, man, to try yeah. to do that. Whether you're fishing against the the best of the best. You know, that's going to always be, you know, up for debate. And, and at the same time, you have to look at the type of fishing that you're better at doing. Are you better at catching numbers of fish or are you um, are you interest? Are you more interested in in five big fish? I mean, what what the major thing I see with the major league fishing and the bass elites is major league fishing has just is there just overwhelming you with amount of hours that they're going to broadcast this 850 hours on live and you know 300 hours on tv and um you know there's 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 something to to be said for that does that equivalent into money in your sponsors pockets how important is tv in that how many people are really watching it's huge tv's huge yes tournament and guys that go out to watch the tournaments you're not you know that doesn't that doesn't equate the numbers and you know and value and marketing dollars but yeah you know with a guy in a jersey yes is what i'm saying yeah you know what i mean I, I, you get 200 300 400 people at you know weigh in they get to see you for two seconds up on the screen if you don't make any more screen time that's yeah, you know means you're not getting the movement yeah you're not getting the brand recognition yeah it's tv tv and you know multiple Views. That that's the the key to what Major League Fishing is doing. Boudreaux, yeah. would you would you jump back? I would love to know this. Would you stay with Major League Fishing and compete with the best, or would you? Would I would you... probably want to. Depends on where you are in your career. I think is. Uh, is yeah. What kind is, of four hundred one k do they have? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah. You only got a couple years left. Yeah. I know. I'm. Yeah. I'm, you're on the back I've got side. One yeah. You're. Foot in the grave. Yeah, yeah. Really. You're. <laughs> I you're. think I'd. I think I'd. If I was in a position like a KVD or some of the upper level, probably go to MLF. But the younger guys, trying like Mike says, trying to build a brand. How, my question is, how much shine comes off the classic because the name people are not fishing after this, this year. year we're going to find out yeah that's that's what you've got to take into consideration you have to remember that bass has has got the guy that owns bass has a, a tub load of money he's oh, yeah. not he's not worried about now is he going to put that money into the into the branding of rebranding of bass it's not really i guess it, they're not rebranding but no. they, they got a little bit of work to do yes they yeah. need to, to to make these these new not the new guys but these guys that are not as well na named as KVD and Skeet Reese and all these other guys. I mean, there's a reason why Ike and Ellie and Palinick and Justin Lucas and Prosnick and Jordan Lee and KVD and all those Skeet Reese, those guys, they're, they're successful because Bass put the money behind them. And that's what Bass is going to do to somebody. But if you already have one of those guys coming back, they're like a home. They're, they're a hero. No, oh, for you sure. You open them. You, I think you, you open arm. Just welcome them back and say, look, the golden child's returned. Right. And you want to know why he returned? Is because he thinks that what we're doing is better and he wants to be a classic winner. Right. And that's how you that's how you approach it. Yeah, the classic's the angle. The no classic doubt. is the angle. 
Because really, the classic is not only just the tournament. Because they're never going to put an asterisk next to the Bassmaster Classics moving forward and no. say, hey, yeah. this is the post MLF series guys that won. You know yeah. what I mean? No, they're not going to do that. Bass sure. owns that. I mean, that's their brand. Yeah. And a Bassmaster Classic champion is a Bassmaster Classic champion. And it's not only the champion, the, the, the classic champion, the expo and all the other things that come with be, that, that one tournament is so huge. I mean, it is a life changer for you because when you become a classic champion, doors open. Oh, no doubt. Absolutely. I mean, so I think if I'm one of those younger guys, I make the move. If I'm KVD, I think I'd make the move too. Really? I think I would. Because in KVD's thing, Bass made him. Right. Now, granted, he's the greatest of all time. It it wasn't like he was not going to succeed in fishing but i look at it as you know how how does this schedule fit into kvd and how does it work for kvd work out for kvd in in his fishing career here moving forward i mean how many more years do we have i don't know i mean how many yeah i mean young guys you know they'll go and they'll they'll, you know they can they can fish 250 300 days yes a year and not not worry about it no skin off your teeth but you know they don't have the sponsorship needs and and all the other extracurricular stuff pulling at him yeah. that has hampered even from Kevin's own mouth and it's hampered his fishing. Mm-hmm. Does this MLF fit him better, the scheduling and the way it's set up and where you don't have these expo, you know, that you have to go appear at and all these other things and instead you're just shooting commercials on the off days of seasons yeah. and you're fishing, you know, a day on, day off, day on, day off, last day, multiple fish. I mean, he hasn't been able to come on the show in 14 months. Because he doesn't have a Saturday available. He has said it to me. He said, look, Chapman, if I can, if you want to do it and pre-record it, then let's do it. Yeah. I'm here. I could do it every week for you. But Saturday mornings, I am absolutely slammed with stuff to do that is, that is in my contracts to do. And, it's, and, and I think it, I mean, I don't think it hurts him. I think he still gets to go out there and see the people and, and shake hands and kiss babies, do whatever you have to do as a politician. But you want to know what? It, it, his brand is is still as big as ever right now. Oh yeah, still the best. And I don't know how you do it. Okay. Um, we had someone text that said you wouldn't be the new KVD if you moved over to the Bass. KVD became a legend, and he beat the best of the best. Uh, and he wouldn't be back at Bass if you go back. That was Ralph that texted us that. And then someone texted, oh, my God, you made Boudreaux talk. He has said nothing but yeah, 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 or yeah, 23 times. Is that Les yeah. again? Is that Les again? Yeah. I don't know Les's phone number off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we have a break. We got to hit here. Ray, stay through the break. I'll get to you right when we get back. But this is Fishing Florida Radio presented by Yamaha. 